this week's Real Estate Real Talk. This week we're talking about home decor, the kind that makes you cringe, unfortunately. Whether it's shag carpeting, TVs mounted near the top of the ceiling, or wood paneling, a lot of homeowners are they're having regrets out there. There's a new poll from the e-commerce site Slick Deals and found that three quarters, three quarters of homeowners said that some of their past home improvement choices haven't aged very well. Seven out of ten are embarrassed to even have people over. Los Angeles real estate agent and our expert here on current, of course, Carrie White, joining us now. Carrie, we asked you to put on your design hat today. Oh, I love that. I mean, thinking that, uh, you know, so many people are embarrassed to have people over because of their design choices. It makes sense why I can't invite myself over everywhere. <laughs> some of these are really bad. So you took a look at this survey for us. What were some of the design choices that people were just like most unhappy with? You know, I think it's a bit of a, you know, problem with watching too much HGTV. Mm. We get caught up in thinking we can do it all and all these design trends are really so easy, but it leads to this high number of regret, which is really surprising. But some of these that have like the most cringeworthy ramifications include shag carpeting, which is kind of like the white home. It's good in theory, but shag carpeting is really hard to clean. It's a pain in the butt and try to put a vacuum over that thing. You know, good luck. Wall paper borders. I don't know if you remember those little narrow strips above the top of the wall, which are impossible to get off. You've got um, the conversation pieces, the recessed seating makes you feel like you're stepping into a 70s den, right? Uh, mounting your TV above the fireplace or eye level. It's just so outdated. You've got popcorn ceilings. You've got oversized floral patterns, wood panelings. I mean, over matching. There's just a, a large list of things, but these are five of the biggest decor regrets that you see here. Yeah, people love that wood paneling. My goodness. Okay, so what were <laughs> what were some of the choices that people actually considered to be in? When it comes to being in and trendy, it's really about that timeless feel. So what can you put into your home that you can mix and match with over time? You know, think like a white kitchen cabinet that you can replace knobs um, or like a countertop that you can mix and match with kitchen accessories. But minimalism remains to be one of the number one design choices that's in. You know, having less cluttered, have a clean, fresh space just feels super timeless. You know, natural materials is really popular popular right now, which goes along with sustainable materials as we're all being very, you know, environmentally conscientious, but incorporating like wood, stone, rattan, it adds warmth and texture and makes you feel, you know, very earthy. Mixing patterns, you have florals and stripes, you have a lot of mixed metals, which is very fun. I remember when every gold had to be the same and now you have gold and silver and bronze and I, I personally love it. And um, statement pieces, you know, throw a colored wall, throw a fabulous chair or a big piece of art or a cool lighting fixture. And then, you know, it adds a timeless design. You can easily swap out that piece or move it around the house. Yeah. So what are some of the simple decor ideas that people should be considering? Some of those you mentioned there that ones that aren't likely to become dated or maybe they won't actually break the bank when you're making some changes in your home. Yeah, again, with the like natural tones, so choosing some neutral color, colors like earth tones, that way you can mix and match with other, you know, decor pieces. Having classic furniture, you know, it really is worth investing into a fabulous, beautiful, traditional style couch that's comfortable and will last time because you can mix and match that with, throughout your home. You know, statement lighting, getting some really beautiful fixtures in that have a more of a timeless feel. You've got um, mixing the vintage with the modern. So again, you've got this traditional timeless theme that really helps your house with your budget and keeping up with the trends by having this kind of natural feel to the home that you can mm -hmm. add personalization into. Like think some of your wedding photos, baby photos, trip photos, family photos. So you can swap those in and out as, as things change over your life and keep things classic budget-friendly and timeless. I have to ask you one more question here, Carrie. In your experience, what happens when, let's say someone falls in love with the house, but there are things in there. There is wood paneling, there is shag carpet, and they can't kind of like understand that those things are temporary. What do you tell people who see those and then maybe they X that house out altogether because of bad design choices? Yeah, I mean, that's a, that's a good choice. 
majority of people don't actually have a lot of vision when it comes to home shopping. So I like to show them through Pinterest or through pictures of before and afters. Like, hey, this is what it could mm. look like. This is the budget for what this could cost. And, you know, taking a look to see what other features of the home do cost a lot more money. Like, hey, the kitchen's done, the bathroom's done, but this carpeting, this painting, this can all be done under 10,000 or something. So it's just a little bit of, of helping them visualize, which is why it's so important to be out with home shoppers when they're looking at homes to help explain these things. All right. Thanks, Carrie. You guys can follow Carrie on Instagram. In the meantime, between these segments, at Carrie Ann, Carrie Ann, subscribe to her YouTube channel. Plenty of information there as well. That's Carrie White, Real Estate. We'll see you next week. Next